Chris, thanks for the invitation to your stand at EMO 2017. Now, a bit of a game changer. What's this machine? New launch? That's right, Mark. So this is the final piece in the jigsaw of the ALC range that we talked about earlier in the year. So we talked about the 400 and the 600 machine. This is now the 800G. The first thing to say is, obviously, this is a colossus of a machine. This is a big bit of kit. First and foremost, a 1500 uh, millimeter by just over a meter, three-sided rise and fall work tank, which means you can get nice big work pieces in there and slide them in and out with the rise and fall work tank. Inside the tank, you've got an 800 millimeter in the X axis, 600 millimeter in the Y axis, and then 500 millimeter as standard in the Z, with an option to go to 800 millimeters in the Z as well. And that's important because that's the biggest Z axis machine that Sodic have ever made. And we're hoping that that's going to bring maybe some new markets, some niche markets into us as well. So is it based on the same sort of design as the 400 and the 600? It is. Pretty much it's the same specification. There's only a couple of differences. Obviously the physical size of it is number one. There's also a quad filtration system, which is basically just four filters as opposed to the three filters that's on the 400 and the 600 range. And that's purely because they're assuming you're going to get bigger work pieces in here or maybe have longer running work pieces and therefore the ability to filter out the swarf and make sure that the machine stays running. There's also a jumbo wire feeder, uh, feeder that's fitted as standard on the machine. So it's all about keeping the, the, the longer running jobs or the bigger jobs running. So with the size, size being very different, does it open up new customers in different areas or is it just in all sort of sectors like aerospace, medical? Yeah, I think that's interesting to say. Um, we're hoping so. I'd say probably less medical. Industry-wise, we're probably looking at aerospace, automotive, uh, maybe the oil and gas industry. Having said that, you know, maybe your subcontract toolmaker who doesn't know what's going to be coming through the door at any time, he's always going to want the ability to load a larger workpiece in there. He's not going to know if he's going to want a bigger Z-axis as well. So I think it's going to uh, actually have quite a big spectrum. It's going to appeal to quite a lot of people. What size of workpiece can you actually use on this machine then, Chris? You can get a three-ton metric workpiece in there and with the machine with no workpiece in it, it's a six ton machine tool. So it really is a nice big machine tool. Obviously very well built, big use of cast iron in there and a heavy use of ceramic components in the work table as well. Now we use ceramic because we're in an electrical environment here. We're creating lots of tiny sparks and we want those sparks to go where we need them to go. We don't want them to be leaching down through the table or through the sides of the tank. So ceramic's a perfect insulator. It's also got great heat coefficient, so the thermal expansion is much less than cast iron or granite surfaces, and also it's stronger and lighter compared to granite or cast iron as well. So it's a big thing with sodic machines. All sodic wire machines and die sinkers all use ceramic interfaces. And more to the point, are they in the UK yet? They are. They're going to be available from the end of, uh, the end of next month, so yeah. that's uh, October in the UK and the 800 option for that is going to be available early in 2018 so that'll be interesting as well competitively priced it is actually yeah it's actually a little bit cheaper than the predecessor which was an aq750 which was only a 750 size so this is a bigger machine uh, obviously linear motor the very latest control system on there as well uh, and yeah it's actually a little bit cheaper so yeah it's gonna it's gonna be good good luck with it chris thank you very much mark